In this Border Connect tutorial, I'll show you how to use Border Connect's US Inbound Manager, how to send an inbound status query, and also how to arrive and export inbound shipments with a mobile device. Once you've registered for the US Inbound Manager and you're logged in, click the menu icon, then click US Inbounds. Then tap Inbound Dashboard where you'll be brought to the US Inbound Dashboard page. This page provides a full listing of all US Inbound shipments that you've requested status updates for, or shipments associated to ACE Manifests and Border Connect. So let's take a look at this inbound. So tap the down arrow to expand this inbound, and the information seen at a glance include the inbound entry number, the current status of the inbound, the type of inbound, the destination port, bill of lading number, and timestamps on when the most recent information was provided, and a view button to see the detailed information. So let's click view. This will bring you to the inbound report details page. And from here, you can see all the bond information at a glance including the report history, where it shows sent messages and responses from CBP, and you can also view bill of lading details as well for this bond, where you can also transmit bill of lading specific updates here. Once you have a new US inbound shipment that you'd like to eventually arrive and export, you'll first need to send an inbound status query to bring it into the inbound dashboard. To do this, go back to the inbound dashboard, and at the top, click Send Query. You'll be brought to the Send Inbound Status Query page, where you'll enter your inbound entry number, and then click Send Status Query. After the query has been sent, you'll be brought back to the inbound dashboard, and in about 60 seconds you'll get a response where your inbound will most likely be moved to four blue bars, indicating that the inbound is en route and has been authorized for movement. Once you've confirmed that the inbound shipment has been successfully delivered to its inbound destination, you can report its arrival to CBP. To do this, view the inbound from the inbound dashboard, and you'll be brought to the inbound report details page. Now at the top, Click More, then click Update in Bond and select Arrive Entire in Bond. And you'll be brought to the Send in Bond Arrival message page, where you can see that your in Bond entry number and the US destination port is already populated for you. So next, enter the firm's code or location the in Bond is arriving at, then the in Bond arrival date and time. Once the arrival details have been entered, go to the top and tap Options. Then select Send in Bond Arrival Message to CBP and then again click Send in Bond Arrival Message to CBP. And in approximately 60 seconds, you'll get a response, letting you know that your arrival request has been accepted and the status of your in bond will change to five green bars, arrived. If this was an immediate transportation bond, for example, this would be all that you have to do in order to close the bond with CBP. However, if this was a transportation and exportation bond, for example, you would also have to send an export bond message to CBP once the bond was exported to its foreign destination. To do this, click into your arrived in bond shipment from the dashboard, and once you're in the in bond report details page, tap more, then tap update in bond. Then select export entire in bond where you'll be brought to the send in bond export message page. Here you can see your entry number has already been populated, so enter the export date and time. Then tap options and select send in bond export message to CBP. Once it's sent, you'll be brought back to the in bond report details page in approximately 60 seconds, CBP will accept your export message and your in-bond status will then be reported as exported where nothing more needs to be done and your bond is now closed. Additionally, a neat time-saving feature of Border Connect's US in-bond manager is the ability to link ACI e-manifests to US in-bonds to automatically close them once they arrive in Canada. To enable this feature, you'll need to be registered for ACI and the US in-bond manager and also be a U.S. bonded carrier with a U.S. bonded shipment with its destination to Canada. So to set up a U.S. in bond to automatically close when arriving in Canada, you'll first need to create an ACI e-manifest in Border Connect, and you'll also need to send an in bond status query for a U.S. in bond shipment. Once the ACI e-manifest is created and the U.S. in bond is en route, view your ACI e-manifest, then navigate down to the section U.S. in bond scheduled for automatic close on arrival section. Now, Tap the Inbound for Auto Close button. Then enter the Inbound entry number you'd like to link to this ACI e-manifest. And once it pops up, just tap it and you'll be brought to the Auto Close Inbound by ACI trip page. Here, everything's already pre-filled for you, so just enter the CBP Port of Exit firm's code. Then click Save, and that's it. Your Inbound will now automatically be arrived and exported once the ACI arrives at the Canadian Port of Entry saving you time tracking down your in-bond and manually sending arrival and export messages. To learn how to use Border Connect's US in-bond manager from a laptop or desktop, click the link at the top of the video now. Hi, I hope you enjoyed this video and found it helpful. 
If you'd like to watch more videos like this, click subscribe below or sign up to Border Connect for a free 45 day trial using special promo code EASY45. Thanks for watching. Thank you.